Hi, my name is Chelsea. I'm the director of proctoring here with Monitor EDU. And today I'm going to walk you through a demo on how to set up to take a proctored exam. You need two devices to take your exam, a laptop or a PC with a working webcam, as well as a secondary device such as a cell phone, tablet, or an additional computer that also has a camera and can connect to Wi-Fi. When choosing a location to take your exam in, please keep in mind that you must be in a private location free of distraction and you must also be alone in the room. You need a desk, countertop, or table to sit at. You cannot test in a bed, on a couch, futon, or recliner. When you're ready to connect to a proctor to take your exam, you will go to takemytest.live. From there, you're going to choose school or organization once you choose your school or organization, you will enter the information it's requesting on your screen and you'll hit connect to a proctor. Once you're connected to a proctor in the chat, they will send you the information you need to connect on video, both your cell phone, your web camera, and your screen share. They will walk you through the process. Once you are connected, the proctor will start the check-in process. They will check your photo ID as well as doing a room scan. You need to start at one corner of your wall and slowly turn it so that the proctor is able to view your whole workspace, making sure that you show all four corners of your room all the way around. Once you're back to where you start, you will need to show your proctor over the desk area, above the desk area, and below the desk area. From there, we're going to place our phone. You wanna choose a location that's off to the side of you, not behind you. You wanna make sure that you're turning your phone horizontally to change that orientation for the proctor. You can use a phone stand or something heavy to prop your phone up on. You want it far enough away that the proctor can see your workspace, computer, and all of you. From here, we will check your authorized materials. Scratch paper must be removed from the book. You will hold it up showing front and back to your proctor. If any other materials are allowed, you will show those as well. Additional monitors are not allowed while taking your exam, so you will need to cover those. My monitors and other computer are covered. You can see my screen, my desk, and my materials. Your materials do have to stay in between you and the cell phone. Since the cell phone is over here on my right-hand side, my materials are going to stay on my right-hand side. Now, the proctor will do security checks. They will check both your wrists, Checking for watches, you will have to remove and put your watch away. They will check both ears, making sure that you don't have any headphones in. And if you wear any glasses, you will have to hold those up to show the proctor. Now you will navigate to your exam portal where your exam is located. You need to make sure you close out of any additional tabs that you may have open. Google Meet and the exam should be the only thing open up on your computer. Once you're ready, the proctor will provide you with the details you need to start your exam. One of the most common challenges candidates face during a proctored exam is finding a reliable way to prop up their phone. To streamline this process, you can purchase a monitor EDU phone stand by visiting takemytest.live. These stands are available for $14.99 plus shipping and handling. They are durable, adjustable, and allow you to position your phone vertically or horizontally. Additionally, the design accommodates charging your phone while in use, a must-have feature since Google Meet can drain your battery quickly. This simple solution can make your proctored exam experience smoother and stress-free. For a better understanding of our processes and rules, please visit monitoredu.com forward slash FAQ. We are available 24 hours a day with the exception of Christmas Eve and Christmas Day.